Hi, and uh, welcome to yet another unboxing video from a uh, Star Wars X-Wing miniature game. This time we uh, are still at wave 9. Yeah, I know. It's a bit late as we are in wave 10. And uh, the epic ship for Scum is uh, in production. Um, but nevertheless, the Ark 170, 170. I will unbox it in this video, so uh, let's get to it and see what this one got. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I am. I just need to get stuff out. Stuff need to do what I say. Stuff always teases me. So, let's see the flight. Of course, we got uh, the dial black thingy. And that's. This is actually a pretty nice ship. Got backwards firing arc. Front view, back view, side view, other side view, and top view. Yeah, pretty pretty cool actually. Um, counting as a small ship. So let's get this one. Up and running. This one, uh, actually, I know it's wave nine, but uh, since I just got it, I'm really looking forward to try and fly it. I think because uh, I met it at a tournament and it was pretty cool. I think. So uh, let's check out the dial. Uh, you can see it shortly here, and I need to read it. Uh, as you can see here, I will hold here. Okay, we got a f one, two, three, four straight maneuver. Four straight is red, one and two are green, one and two bank are green also. You got sharp turns, two and three, three is red, and you got the color gun. Four as a red maneuver, so not it's agile, but not so agile. The two turns are pretty cool as they are white on this ship, I think. Um, but let's see. Oh, lots of uh, upgrade cards, but let's see at the cardboard first. You got Four pilots, two on each. You got a uh, dial. Yeah, you got an evade token. You got a focus token. You got a stress token, and you got a critical hit token. On this first one. Yeah, and then we got fifty-five and fifty-six numbers. Target lock. That's CC or DD, double C, double D, and you got three shield tokens. And you got your dial token, so you can see what ship it is if you use those new FFG dials. Okay, let's start with the pilots first. Um, let's start with auxiliary firing arc. Yes? That token should not be here. Oh no, it's not. Oh, never mind. But rules to explain the rear firing arc of this ship. It's a rebel ship. Da 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 da. We got a named pilot, 
That's the first and lowest pilot skill. Pilot skill three. Braylon Stram. After you execute a maneuver, you may roll an attack die. On a hit or a crit result, remove one stress token from your ship. Hmm. Could be useful. And uh, this arc 170 got two attack, one defense, six hull, and three shield. It got focus and tackle lock. And you got torpedo slot, crew slot, and astromech slot. Those pilot skill, 25 points. Braylon Stram. Yes. Next one, pilot skill 4. Thane Kyrell at 26 points. After an enemy ship inside your firing arc at range 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 attacks, another, attacks another friendly ship, you may perform a free action. You probably already heard of this, but uh, 26 points. Thane Kyrell. Yes. At Pilot skill 6, Shara Bay. When another friendly ship at range 1 to 2 is attacking, is attacking, it may treat your blue target lock token as its own. That's that's neat. And she got a elite pilot talent at 28 points. Yeah. Okay. And the last pilot, Nora Wexley. I think this is the most used pilot at this moment. Um, pilot skill 7. When attacking or defending, you may spend a target lock you have on the enemy ship to add one focus result to your role. That could also be quite nice. Actually, instead of using the target lock, and you can just add a focus. If you only got a blank, and uh, let's say you're at range 1, you get 3 die, you roll 2 focus and a blank, then you could just, and you have focus of course, use the target lock, gain another focus, use your focus. Twenty nine points, Nora Rexley. Yeah. Okay. Now upgrade cards. We all know it. They're cool. One point. Elite Palatine Adrenaline Rush. When you reveal a red maneuver, you may discard this card to treat that maneuver as a white maneuver until the end of the activation phase. So you just go woo, and uh, <laughs> you don't. You make a red maneuver and treat it as a white. Um, next up, you got a crew card, three point recon specialist. You when you perform a focus action, assign one additional focus to a ship. You already got this, I believe. Yes, pretty popular card. Next up, a new uh, crew, tail gunner. When attacking from your rear firing arc, no, sorry, when attacking from your rear facing auxiliary firing arc, that was a long sentence, reduce the defender's agility by one to a minimum of zero. Hmm, I've heard this one before, just. <laughs> it's like uh, all. What is that rebel? The rebel scum. It's not Biggs. It's the other. It's Wedge, isn't it? He reduces agility also. So, two points. Crew. Tail gunner. It's limited. So you cannot spam it all over. Then we got two of the same astromech. At two points. R3 astromech. Once per round, 
Can we get this to focus? Focus? Nope. Ah, oh, there it is. Once per round, when attacking with a primary weapon, you may cancel one of your focus results during the modify attack dice step to assign one FA token to your ship. That's pretty neat. I got two of those. Two points. Yes? Astromech. Slot. And we got a Seismic Torpedo. So Torpedo upgrade. Two points. This whole new Torpedo, I think. I haven't seen it before. Um, it's an action. Discard this card to choose an obstacle at range 1 to 2. And inside your primary firing arc, each ship at range 1 uh, of the obstacle rolls one attack die and suffers any damage hit or critical damage rolled. Then remove the obstacle. So go blow up some obstacles. If you don't want them, blow them up. So this is actually an action. It's not a card that you use, I think. So, hmm, pretty neat. So you actually got as many as you want, if I understand this one correct. So let's blow up some obstacles. And then we got a thing that actually also could make, potentially could make uh, the old X-Wing, not the T-70, but the old X-Wing better. Also the T-70 of course, but uh, and of course the ARC fighter here. Vector thrusters. Small ship only. It's a modification. Your action bar gain the barrel roll action. If I can get this to focus again. Come on. There it is. Two points. Da 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 da. Some ship gets better with the barrel roll. You all know it. Barrel roll is the thing. And then, last but not least, zero points title card for the ARC 170. When attacking with a primary weapon from your primary firing arc, you may roll one additional attack die. When attacking from your auxiliary firing arc, you may change one of your focus results to a crit result. Alliance overhaul. So actually no reason not to get this when you are flying the Arx 170? Or am I totally mistaken? Yeah? Okay. So, this was the uh, Arc 170. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to fly this, I can say, so much. Um, and now it's time for me to say goodbye. You remember to subscribe my channel. Like my videos, comment my videos, good and bad stuff, I need to learn more. If you got some suggestions, just ask me. Um, if you want me to make a special video about something X-Wing, just ask and I will see what I can do. Um, other than that, see you soon. Bye.